All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. I've had a kind of busy, not busy morning, just trying to rest and recuperate a little bit from everything that's been going on. Um, but we did just have someone come and have a look at the JZX 110. Um, the guy's pretty interested, so we'll see what ends up coming of that. Otherwise, been doing very mediocre jobs today, like weeding the gardens. Uh, I've got my boy Kermie over here at the moment uh, doing the rear lawns, so that's getting done. I've got the Raptor packed and ready to head down to the track because we're going drifting today. So I literally cannot wait to go drifting today. Hopefully the, v the 350Z is all ready to go. I know Adam did drive it on Tuesday last week. He said it felt fine. Um, but then one of our other guys drove it and I don't know, someone said he's gone and adjusted a bunch of stuff. So, hmm. Hopefully he hasn't adjusted too much stuff and messed it up. But I guess we'll get down there this afternoon and find out from there. But anyway, I'm not actually going to get a chance to work on either of these two cars while I'm here. Because tomorrow morning I fly out to Melbourne for an event called Keep It Reet. So there'll be more drifting comment, uh, content coming from Melbourne and I'll be driving the V35 back. So we'll see what we get up to. The plan is to end up in Sydney at some point and we'll do some stuff there and then heading back up to Queensland. My daughter's coming with me on this trip as well. So I'll be having my, um, my little girl along for the trip. So that's actually going to be a really good time. Alrighty, so we are on our way down to the track. It's really hot today. Really, really hot. Um, but one of the first things I really need to do, like I need to do way sooner rather than later is organize tint for this car because when I got in it was boiling hot. Um, so I'm gonna be hitting up some of the people I know for tint work and get this car tinted. But anyway, let's go down the track. I'll see you guys there. So we've got some uh, track repairs going on here at the track, trying to get the walls pushed back into place. Using our push truck oh, yeah. to push the wall. All right, so we're back on the grind. I've just been doing stuff down here at the track, getting everything back in order. Boy's been doing a reasonably good job, holding it together. Trying to. Trying Star to. right here. All we do is drive, mate. We don't work. So. Oh, dude, you bet no. What are these? What are these? What the hell is that? That's all right. That centric. That's where the hub centric stuff goes. Not a split. That's oh yes, that's how it's meant to be. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's a centric. It's offset. Offset. Yeah, so we can splits in the alloy cradle. You can't. Yeah, the them. ones that are meant to be there. That yeah, hold. They're, there. they're meant to be there. That's how that washer turns in there. I got that on camera too. <laughs> no, I know how it turns in there. But, but that's the that's the principle of the washer. But what yeah, that's what holds it. That's literally what, what it pushes against, well, the washer. Really? That's what the washer pushes against, yeah. Um, it, 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 it must be just a Nissan thing, mate. They're all retarded. Subarus what? have proper ones at work. Didn't, <laughs> isn't all your footwork <laughs> Nissan? Really? How cool is this? Rolling up towards a drift track and you can literally just see smoke pouring out of the drift track. How sick is that with the wind tonight? That is awesome. I love this. Man, everybody in the house is nearby. are gonna smell it for sure. All right, you guys remember my friend here from New Caledonia? Hi. So he's come to Archerville tonight to drift. Uh, was gonna be using Tiana's car, but that's like a little bit broken from her and Adam driving it. So he's gonna be taking out the Princey's drift car hire car. Have you seen it yet? Yes, yes, that's, it's not bad. But... Oh yeah, super windy down here tonight as well. So yeah, super windy down here tonight, but it's still a good night. It's nice and warm. So my boy Daryl from New Caledonia, out the uh, Princey Drift Car Hire Car. See how they're sending it. That's awesome. How good is this today? So many cars. Another car on the way in. This is the kind of nights I love down here at the drift park. It's so sick. All right, 350Z's back. Larkins. Uh, he had a sec, had the trailer on, so he's gone now to give it a wheel alignment. Hopefully a bit more of a grippy boy. I still need to do some fiberglassing again on this stuff. Looking very, um, yeah, very not held together. So we're definitely gonna have to sort that out. Hopefully it'll last tonight. 
um, go thrash some laps, it'll be sick. Alright guys, getting ready for the first send in quite a little while in the 350Z. Feels like months, but it's been like a couple, three weeks or something like that. Um, so we're going to go out for the send and hopefully all goes well. New wheel alignment, so we'll see how things feel. I'm hoping they feel good. Should be more grippy than it's ever been before, so we'll see how things go.
my tyres because the wheel aligners went and put 40 psi in the tyres to make sure that um, the alignment would be right. So uh, Larkins forgot to tell me, still had 40 psi in my tyres and that's why I didn't have as much grip as I'd hoped so I'm really excited. I've just got some second hand tyres to go out on now but with the tyres pressures dropped down it should be freaking sick. Pit crew, my, my, my bar pit crew. And I work full time. Oh, full time job. Yeah. Yeah. Full, full time job and he's here more than he was in a part time job. Or a never go to work job.
That's that Barra R33 guys, if you don't remember it. It's now black, so don't be mistaken. Was silver, now it's black. Um, always good tyres. Try to chase Joe, but Joe's a freaking lunatic. Where's Joe? I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Joe. You've met him before, but he's back out driving in his 370Z. And he's all over the shop. Explain yourself. Uh, six and a half months without driving. When he's on you, it's very scary. <laughs> and, uh, and just not enough talent, really, to be honest. <laughs> And I even, I've lost my power steering. I don't know what it is about with me and power steering pumps at the moment. Or more so power steering pumps around me. Anything. No, I think mine's kind of just got a bit funky as well. Yeah. Mine's got a heap of metal in the oil. So, it is what it is. I'll get another one. You want me to get you on one down there? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh. But, it means that you can drive a car with GK tank lock. I keep at the same angle as Blast Battle. Yeah, I was, it was actually really fun backing in with you. Yeah. And I was like, get on the power, get on the I power. Know. I was like, my butt went real slow to 1.2. So, as I was coming out of power, it was still in. I was like, Aah! I was like, oh, yeah. fuck. And then I had to use my foot underneath the front to pull it out. Oh, yeah, that's not ideal. I'll go show you guys quickly. Nothing special to look at, but uh, Joe's 370Z. It's cool because it's very much like my 350Z. Pretty much stock power wise, but then he's actually gone with Wisefab because he likes to, he really, really likes to waste money. So that's why he's gone with Wisefab. I was just tell the people you really, really like to waste money. Yeah, that's why he went Wisefab. No, but you don't have a lot of options when it comes to a 370Z, so it makes sense. And I like going snappy, snappy, yeah. dumb shit, and it's fun. Otherwise, just go like this shit. Pretty sure I'm not just doing that. No, you're not doing that. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's like stop block, these are very limited to what you can. Oh, absolutely, do. absolutely. Like, you can but get it done. He did do his time with stop block. Um, and really got to learn the car and then went to the wise fab which I commend but anyway guys I'm gonna wrap it up right there thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe we are traveling to Melbourne tomorrow morning so I have a 4 a 6 a.m. flight I've got to be up at 4 a.m.